Hello there and welcome to another episode of Regular Beer Reviews, where regular doesn't refer to the beers being reviewed, but to the reviewer, myself. I'm Jesse, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing a beer that uh, I've had a couple times, but only in the last few days. This is Linen Kugel's Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. I picked up a six-pack. Uh, I figured, what the hell. I've never been a huge fan of Linen Kugel. I've had quite a few of their beers, uh, the best probably being their Canoe Paddler. Which, um, I mean, overall was a very different style, but, um, again, I have had this a couple times, and, uh, we'll get into what I think of it, uh, in this review. Let's look at the numbers on this beer. It, it, it gets a 77 from Beer Advocate, which is just okay, and that's with 548 ratings. Rate Beer gives it a 53 overall with a 33 for the style, and the bros have not had this beer. It has an ABV of 6%. Um, the style is obviously an American Porter. The availability, um, as I already, or I may not have said, but anyway, this is a winter seasonal, obviously, Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. So uh, it's only going to be available through the winter. You can probably get some back stock uh, into the spring. Um, uh, if you didn't know, um, Line and Kugel, that's Jacob Line and Kugel Brewing Company out of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Um, yeah, so uh, here's a quick descript from uh, Rate Beer. It says, Line and Kugel Snowdrift Vanilla Porter is a robust and velvety addition to Line and Kugel's seasonal selection. This porter-style beer is aged on real vanilla to reveal rich layers of caramel, coffee, and chocolate that is ideal for the season. So, um, yeah, um, again, I have had this beer. Uh, I think I have, like, one left in the fridge, so I've had it four times already. And, um... You know, it's, I'll say this, it's definitely not their worst beer, but uh, anyway, let's get in, let's get into that with this review, so, alright, nice pour there, I tried to go down the middle, give it an aggressive pour, got a nice one finger tan, um, frothy head, um, it's, you know, kind of big bubbles there, but seems to have okay retention, as you can see, some okay lacing. It's very, very dark, um, very almost black, very dark mahogany brown, slight bits of light coming through, a nice red glow there. The carbonation is pretty high, uh, even for a porter. Um, porters usually are a lot more carbonated than a stout or something, but I'm seeing a lot of bubble streaming up there. Um, all in all, though, it looks like a pretty good beer. Let's get a nose on this. Really nice smell here. Picking up on a little bit of that vanilla, but mostly just the kind of roasty dark malts. I'm picking up on the chocolate. I'm picking up on the coffee. Maybe a little bit of caramel. Um, there's a little smokiness to it there, just a little bit. Um, picking up on some... Um, Picking up on maybe some coconut, um, some dark fruits, maybe some figs or raisins. Smells slightly sweet, certainly not overly sweet though. Um, like a nice dark bitter chocolate, nice black coffee or something. So vanilla is not too heavy either. So just going ahead and uh, jump in this one. This is, excuse me, this is probably one of the better beers um, I've had from Wine and Kugels. Again, they haven't really impressed me in the past. I've had quite a few of their beers. Um, I just did a review on their um, Oktoberfest. Wasn't crazy impressed with it. Um, I'd had it once about a year before. But I had their Big Eddie's Russian Imperial Stout. I've had their, their Hoppin' Hellas. I've had their... Um, other canoe paddler, which I thought was actually pretty good, um, good representation of the style for what it was. But anyway, in the flavor there, anyway, this this is this is a pretty good one. In the flavor, I'm picking up on those dark roasty malts, nice and dark, you know that um, like a burnt caramel, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of black coffee, like a burnt caramel roastiness, almost slightly smoky, a lot like in the smell, but those vanilla undertones are so slight. I mean, they're slight in the smell, but in the flavor they're so slight. I mean, it it I mean, it, it really appeals to me. It's it, I think it really adds to the beer. A lot of I've had quite a few beers um with that are made with vanilla 
that the vanilla is just so overpowering. This is so mellow on the flavor. It's so mild. You barely notice it's there, but it's there just enough to really make it pop um, on the flavor. It's it's really good. You get um, that again that nice kind of burnt caramel, and smoky, roasty notes. They're really nice on the flavor. It's not really um, that sweet. Um, it's a, probably would be a good dessert beer, but it's it's really roasty, really robust for a porter. That's what you'd want. This isn't a milk stout or a dessert stout, so you don't want it to be really sweet. So um, you know, for that, I think it's it's um, you know it's really good, really good representation of the style. Mm. Nice mouthfeel. Again, it is pretty well carbonated, but not overly carbonated, excuse me. And even though it's nice and carbonated, it still has a thick mouthfeel. This coats the tongue well. I mean, that flavor is still just like, bam, in my mouth. Those really roasty um, notes. I'm not picking up on a lot of the vanilla in the flavor. Picking up more on like the dark fruits and the coconuts at the back end. But even, it's, I'd say it's pretty well balanced, but... I mean, those kind of roasty, dark roasty, kind of burnt caramel toffee, um, that kind of smokiness that's at the front end definitely overpowers the kind of the slight bit of like a dark fruit at the back end. It definitely overpowers it. Um, and then the vanilla is just kind of like right in the middle there, but it's just, it's so faint. It, even though it overpowers it, though, I definitely wouldn't say it's an unbalanced beer. It's pretty well balanced. Um, it's pretty tasty. This is probably one of the best beers I've ever had from um, Line and Kugels. So, um, if you see Line and Kugels uh, Snowdrift Vanilla Porter this uh, this year, this winter, pick it up. It's a pretty good beer. Um, it's pretty tasty. I mean, it's nothing that you're gonna write home about, but. This is probably their best beer. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Um, this is a beer that I'll pick up again probably before the season's over with just you know, so I can have it again because I do like it and I think it is a good beer. So if you see it, pick it up. Wine and Kugels Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. It's a pretty good beer. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Keep watching again in the future for more reviews. Post.